Alright, so this is going to be a video of on the ceiling fan on my new testing area. This is a sear ceiling fan. This used to be in the other room at, uh, because it was in my grandparents' laundry room, but it got replaced with a Tahoe, then a Brown Alaska. So, yeah, this is um, new in box. I got this new in box. These globes are not original. These are what the original ones looked like. They're ordinary glass globes, but they all broke in shipment, sadly, when... The van was being shipped, they all broke, except those two, but one of them is cracked. So, um, that's all of those, those are the only two globes remaining, and it comes with a switch cap if you don't want a white, and it came with a uh, longer down rod, and it had the shortest down rod possible on it. And, here's the tool chains, um, this is what they look like, these two, well, these two. They're just, um, cheap plastic pull chains, that's it what they look like nothing special and here's the light and this fan is for sale if you guys want to buy it because I'm trying to move up from um, my cheaper fans that I would collect all the way up to Casablanca's because I'm only gonna be known as the Casablanca fan collector I'm just gonna have a, some Alaska's and I'm also gonna have some ha rare Hampton Bay's like that Tony Stewart um, Hampton Bay Tony Stewart that I have. And yeah, so the only two um, Hampton Bay fans I want to collect, well, I have the camera, and I'm keeping that because it's a neon blue light kit, and keeping the Hampton Bay Tony Stewart. If I found a Hampton Bay, uh, um, what is that thing? The Key, Key South, Key West or something? No, that's the Harbury's Key West. I, I think it's like Southwest. Yeah, it's Southwest. If I ever find one of those in the terracotta finish, I'm definitely getting it low speed. And um, this fan is also controlled by the wall switch as well, so it won't work. And these these blades, they're straight up cardboard, if you guys don't know. The, and you have the, um, the um, blade colors of uh, cherry and oak. And, like, uh, because I like ornate fans when I was younger, like, um, I'm just trying to collect more Casablancas, like, the ornate Casablancas, let's just say that. And, so, this fan will not be included with glass, because the globes are, um, not, these came off of my Hunter Stratford that had condensation damage, and that will be parted out. And, but if anyone um, wants to like, buy it off of me, just make an offer, and, and that's all you have to do. And if you um, want the light kit, you can uh, tell me, it'll, like, it'll be included with no glass. If you want the light kit, I'll include the two shades, the glass globes. Oh, I just realized I have the box up here, and I'll show you that I got this brand new. That's what the box looks like. All right, let's move up to medium now. If you like want something that like does the job done, um, this would be perfect. Just, just cause of like, it moves all right out there. And it does wobble a bit. I don't know what's that, that's from. Yes, it has that annoying dreaded tapping noise because the chains are so short because they don't have the extensions on. And plus, I don't know why Sears did this, but the chain is like uh, like right and like in line with the globe, which was kind of dumb to be honest because that's why it wouldn't make that rattling noise if Sears did not install the chain right like by the globe. It's annoying. The reason why I don't have the extensions on because every time I would walk by, I would smash my head on them and it would be annoying, so that's why it's like that. Even though it doesn't have the ordinate shades on, it still looks pretty good with these. I don't know if that's berry noise. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds like there might be some berry noise. And it's doing the dreaded tapping and it's annoying. I can't flip it over. I'm not gonna just worry about it. Here's the light. Alright. 
Spin down. Uh, blades or like a thicker material because I just pulled one of the blades out from my Panama. That's straight up wood. Mm. Originally my Panama was gonna go here, but um I didn't I don't think I have any wire extensions here because I have like a ton of wire extensions at my house, but um I'm not at my house. And plus, I'm trying to get a, a rid of a lot of the uh, cheaper fans I own. And some, most of them are good quality that I'm getting rid of. But they're not Casablanca, so I have to get rid of them. Well, I don't have to. I just want to. Just to get some money and buy Casablancas. So, yeah. Originally, my Panama was going to go here, like I said. And all that. I just already said that. So, yeah. Because... Next time what I should do, I should bring some wire extensions, even though I already did a video on my Panama, I just wanted to have it here just because. And all the ceiling fans that are for sale, I will be testing them today. And just, um, glass will not be included with the light, like I said. Um, I'll show you the other down rod legs so I left the box up here. So we have the switch cap, and we have the down rod. It's longer because it'll drop the fan down a lot longer, but I have the shortest one possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will probably be today, because I'm obviously going to test um, the um, ceiling fan. So I'm going to test that Murray Feist ceiling fan, the one I'm selling, because that one is not for sale anymore, because it's already been claimed by Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 because I'm holding that off for him, because I'm going to post the listing today, most likely, and, um, yeah, he's going to buy it, so, that one, the sale's pending, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and rate, and I'll see you all in the next video, bye.